Hey there, high school sports fans. This is Scott Engler with KCU Prep Report. Want to give you our first edition of the high school roundup, which will give you some scores and some happenings and a little bit of news uh, about what uh, transpired the night before in the world of high school athletics. So um, three games played on the Kansas side last night uh, for girls. Blue Valley West defeated Blue Valley 49 to 46 at the buzzer. Uh, Bishop Miege defeated Blue Valley North 62 to 46 and St. Thomas Aquinas 69 St. James Academy 40. Uh, notable from the St. Thomas Aquinas game, Serena Wileji scored her thousandth career point uh, in that contest. So congrats to you, Serena. Big accomplishment. Uh, on the Missouri side, we had Belton over Ray South, uh, Platte County over Winnetonka. Lee Summit West took down Park Hill 46 to 43. Uh, Liberty Blue Jays 42, Raytown 29. Blue Springs 43, Ray Peck 42 at the buzzer. Uh, Fort Osage 55, Oak Park 51. Truman 42, Liberty North 32. And then Lee Summit North defeated Staley 66 to 61. Uh, what's notable about that is uh, Lee Summit North head coach Trisha. Lily Green uh, collected her 400th win uh, in her career. So props to you, coach. Always a consummate professional um, and one of the good ones in the coaching world. Uh, we had one tournament going on, which was the North Kansas City Girls Tournament. Uh, quickly, uh, let's see, Lincoln Prep defeated Blue Springs South 66 to 42. Carney over Pius 63 to 24. North Kansas City, 66, Schlegel, 37, and Park Hill South, 52, uh, Hickman, 32. Of note in that, Alicia Westbrook did play in the game. Um, she took a, uh, what's been described as a pretty nasty fall uh, in their game last Friday against Truman and was actually uh, taken out in a stretcher. So scary stuff, but she looks to be um, good to go. Along uh, that same front with the North Kansas City Tournament. Uh, the semifinal action is set up for Wednesday, and it is going to be a fantastic lineup. Uh, the first game of the night, you have North Kansas City, who is the number three ranked team in Class 5, versus Kearney, who is the number 10 ranked team in Class 4. The other semifinal will be Park Hill South, uh, who is the number seven ranked team in Class 5, versus Lincoln Prep, who is uh, number four in Class 4. So fantastic lineup. Um, athletic director Chad Evans um, definitely has the magic stick right now when it comes to uh, tournaments. Has recently completed boys tournament, had the same thing. Uh, four semifinal teams all ranked in Class 5 state of Missouri. Uh, this time all the girls teams are all ranked uh, in some division or some, sorry, some classification um, in Missouri. So, fantastic lineup. Uh, Kansas State rankings. Uh, boys and girls were announced recently. Those are up on the website. Um, not a whole lot of change there. Uh, Blue Valley Northwest is now the number one team in Class 6, so they've regained that. St. Thomas Aquinas girls still uh, ranked number one as well. So, um, like I said, those are posted on the website. Uh, games to check out tonight. Uh, in the EKL, uh, Bishop Miege, number one ranked in Class 4. D1 uh, is taking on Blue Valley North, who is ranked number four in Class 6. So that'll be a fantastic uh, atmosphere, I'm sure, at Blue Valley North. Sunflower, Lawrence, uh, checks in at number six in Class 6A, is taking on Shawnee Mission East, who is number seven in Class 6A. So those are uh, two of the bigger ones on the Kansas side. On the Missouri side, uh, we have Lee Summit West traveling north to Park Hill uh, to take uh, them on, which is actually a rematch of the Stessman tournament uh, completed a couple of weeks ago. That was won by Park Hill. So uh, another story that we have coming down the pike is the Barstow Lady Knights. Um, they are not ranked in Class 3. Not sure how, not sure why, but they are not. Um, but 
they are going to be a force to be reckoned with for not only the rest of the season, but come playoff time. Uh, Glenn sisters, two freshmen. They do not look like freshmen. They do not play like freshmen. They score. They defend. They do a lot for the Barstow Lady Knights. Um, look for that story coming out uh, here in the next couple of days. So uh, the last story that we actually just posted a few minutes ago is our 2018 Dorena Award watch list. Uh, very excited to, to do this. Uh, we rank one through 10 and then some notable, some players that could uh, creep up into that top 10. So we're very excited to put that together. Um, Kind of give you a little preview. Number one, uh, Oak Park big man Ochai Akbaji. Uh, number one, Bishop Nyage's Jeremiah Robinson Earl checks in at number two. And then a little bit of surprise, uh, maybe to some people, others not, but we have Damian Daniels of Hogan Prep as uh, number three on our Drenner Award watch list. Uh, he is a dynamic player on the court, um, known as Speedy Gonzalez by his coach, has a motor that doesn't stop. So um, that's all we got for this edition. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all of your news and comings and goings for the high school sports world. Uh, we have a new magazine coming out next week. Um, it's been a challenge. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's, uh, it's something that is a labor of love, and it's definitely labor intensive at times. So we're excited to get that out, get those into people's hands. You can get those at Hy-Vee's, Price Choppers, uh, Sun Freshers, um, all across the metro. So thanks again, and until next time, thanks. <laughs>